Good morning. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Therese of Child Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church, who loved Jesus to the fullest in her shortest life, who lived just for 24 years. Today as we celebrate such a great saint and doctor of the church, let's ask her to, to intercede for us that we might have the same love as she had for Jesus. And now we shall read the entrance antiphon. The Lord led her and taught her, kept her as the apple of his eye, like an eagle spreading his wings. He took her up and bore her on her shoulders. The Lord alone was her guide. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let's ask God to forgive us and to make us worthy to celebrate this Eucharist. I confess in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercessions we may see your eternal glory revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exalt, exalt with her, all you who are mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bodies flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. The response is from Psalm 131. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child, like a weaned child on her mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, 
who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Who is the greatest? Oftentimes, we think about this. Am I great? But who we are in front of God, who we are in the eyes of God is the most important thing. We may not be great according to someone else's standards or according to the standard of this world. But who we are, what God thinks of us, is the most important thing. And today's saint is exactly that. St. Therese of Child Jesus. She calls herself the little flower of Jesus. She was the last of nine children in her family. Both the parents are very pious, practicing Christians. And when she was four, she lost her mother. And she lost four of her siblings when she was still very young. The rest of five, all the girls, four of her oldest sisters, they all became nuns. And she herself, from her childhood, she wanted to be a nun in spite of all the pain that she has gone through, losing the siblings and losing his mother when she was four, yet she loved the Lord and she wanted to give herself totally to Jesus. But she was too young to enter into a cloister Carmelite nun at the age of 15. But she wanted it to do it for God and she wrote a very special requesting letter to Pope and then she received the permission and she entered into the cloister Carmelite nuns where she lived the rest of her life, nine years. And she died at the age of 24. A simple life. In the standard of the world, she has not achieved anything. As a teenager, she left the world and entered into the Carmelite order. All she, she, she did was pray, penance, and work. Nothing great to the people of the world. But she was great in the eyes of God. And especially if we read the story of the soul that she wrote, it speaks such a wonderful book. But I wanted to mention just two points, why she's great. The first, she had a childlike trust and love for God. It seems when she lost her mother when she was four, she went to the statue of Mother Mary and held the statue and said, now that I don't have my mother, you will be my mother. Just like a simple child. She trusted in the love of Jesus. And second, though she has not done big, huge things, whatever she did, the little things, she offered it to the glory of God and for the salvation of souls. The little way. Doing small things with great love. And when she was made, when she was canonized, she was also named a patroness for missions. The girl that who has not traveled anywhere, Francis Xavier, is patron for the missionaries who went around, traveled, baptized thousands and thousands of people. Whereas this little girl, St. Therese, who lived all her life in a small convent, she has been named as a patroness for missions. Because whatever she did, even if she has to clean the veranda or a room, it seems she used to pray, by this work, Jesus, save one of the souls that was lost. 
accept all the pain that I go through, especially her last more than a year, she suffered greatly. Tuberculosis those days was uh, a, a dreaded disease. When she was in the bed suffering for days, weeks, months, she, she used to offer and pray, Jesus, accept my pain and save a soul that was lost. Little things with great love for God and for others. And today, dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate such a great saint, let's ask her to intercede. If we are, if we are doing great things in life, it's good. But even the little things that we do, the daily work in our homes, the daily duties where we work, the prayer that we make, everything can be offered to God with great love. We shall all stand and pray for our needs. For Pope Francis, all the clergy, may God grant them strength and courage in teaching the word of God. We pray to the Lord. For a greater respect for life throughout the world, from conception through natural death, we pray to the Lord. For people struggling with addictions, may God's grace and courage fill their hearts and give them strength. We pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may Jesus strengthen us as we seek to build God's kingdom here on earth. We pray to the Lord. For all, for all who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may they soon be welcomed into heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. And for what else shall we pray now? Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We shall pray for Rosalie Palato, for whose intention this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray, God of justice and love, all we have is from you. Hear our prayers and grant them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual ring. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, 
may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord, our God. Or wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Therese, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as our merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gift you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Therese, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Lord, Lord be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus Christ be with you always. Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins and this peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
communion and antiphon. <clears throat> Thus says the Lord, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of your love, with which St. Therese dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ascended. We shall go in peace. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.